A few RVs these days come with a solar power port such as the one you see here on my Grand Design 29RS. Grand Design, Forest River, and perhaps a few other RV manufacturers have been putting these solar power charging ports on the outside of their RVs lately. The only problem is they don't come with a connector. And this is kind of a funky connector. I've been looking for these for quite some time and actually I actually found a source for them outside of the RV industry. And here's the connector. It's made by a company called CN Linko. And in the next segment of my video, I'll post the part number for it, as well as the source. And I'll do that also in the comment section, as well as on my webpage. Now, surprisingly, I found these on eBay. And the way this basically works, you just put it in here and push it, and then it locks in place. And this is originally designed to connect the solar panel. And you can use it for that, of course. Uh, you can also use it to connect other brand solar panels. Say you've got a Renogy, which is a little less expensive. Uh, you can use it for that. Zamp actually makes a $35 adapter with this connector on it. So you can use it for other uh, manufacturers' uh, solar panels. And as well, uh, the other thing I like about it is there's no reason that you cannot connect a battery charger to this because this simply just goes to the battery. And I'll open the RV up and show you how it connects to the battery. And in addition, if you have a air compressor, say, to blow up uh, beach toys and things like that, or, you know, something that doesn't take a lot of power, because this is limited to 10 amps on here. This has this has 10 amps on here. And then in the, there's a fuse inside that's limited further to 7.5 amps. So you're not going to run a heavy-duty air compressor, you know, to blow up your tires, perhaps. But the smaller duty ones that you can use to uh, inflate, you know, your water toys and uh, things like that, and air mattresses, you know, it's certainly probably going to have power enough to do that. So it makes a nice little, just a 12 volt general purpose power port, and all you have to do is just buy this connector. And now this connector does not come with a cable, I've actually wired it to the cable. So let's go look inside the uh, back side of this and see how it's wired. Of course this wiring scheme is only applicable to my coach, so your coach may differ if you had it factory installed. So basically what we have is just a, the power leads coming off the connector and through a seven and a half amp fuse and then just a uh, big tail that connects to the battery. When you go to eBay look up the seller macro channels and then look up the two pins power industrial connectors. Verify the part number is LP-20-C02PE dash zero one dash zero zero one now it only shows one left here however i talked to him and they're actually a distributor of cn linko and they assured me that they would keep these in stock so if they're temporarily out of stock just keep an eye on them and they should get some more in so here's the connector all taken apart for you and again the uh, manufacturer is cn linko c-n-l-i-n-k-o it is series YP20, and the part number is LP-20-C02PE-01-001. And it basically comes with four parts. So you're going to have to use a soldering iron and solder your wires. So the only way it comes is in a solder configuration. And this connector goes into the front end of the barrel, and there are two little alignment notches. They have to be aligned, and you have to actually push in this little lever to get this to go in. Then once it's in, you get it seated. Then you can put the barrel on it, which screws on. And then this has a Haco style of gland. This will do about 7 16 of an inch diameter cable or less. And then, of course, the cap goes on here and tightens this down. So you do have a minimum size diameter if you want the cable to be waterproof. And this is rated at IP67, so this means it can withstand one meter underwater. So this thing certainly should work very well on the outside of your RV. So there you go. This is the hard to find Sealinko connector for a Furion solar port.